fantastic is that? You got to see four white back vultures with James just after I mentioned vultures. It's so fantastic to be able to to link between each other and uh, and see what everyone is seeing around here while we are driving. And have a look what we have just found. A beautiful bushbuck ram. Now we don't see many bushbuck around. They are quite secretive antelope. They, uh, they prefer very dense thickets and, and generally areas where there is quite a lot of moisture and uh, or water rather. Oh, don't know if you can hear that there's some impala. It sounds like impala males. Those are not alarm calls. That is, that is probably a few males just having a bit of a dispute chasing each other. That's often the sound they make when they are rutting, but it is no, no longer rutting season. All well, the rut has actually just finished for them. So I think that's just probably males chasing each other or male trying to chase some females around that he's trying to keep in his territory. Getting back to the bushbuck, these bushbuck prefer areas where there's some water and green vegetation. They prefer thickets. They're these fringe feeders. I mentioned um, a leopard being a fringe hunter. They like to move ar around on the edge of, of drainage lines or thickets where they can watch a bit of the clearing and a bit of the thicket. And these fringe feeders like, the, like a bushbuck um, or an inyala often fall prey to, to leopard because they are in these thicker areas but also very alert um, and very aware of what's going on around them and those sharp little horns of a bushbuck can do some serious damage to a leopard so they, they're very careful about hunting them. Now interesting with the bushbuck there are three species of antelope that fall under the same family so the bushbuck, the nyala and the kudu. Now they're all under a family and known as Trigelophus or, or genus rather, known as Trigelophus. And the reason for that is they are all quite similar. So the bushbuck, Inyala and Kudu all have white markings on the bodies, slightly different. Bushbuck has more spots, no, not really stripes. The Kudu and the Inyala both have very prominent white stripes down the body. Um, they also have, with the horn structure, all three antelope have a, a twist in the horn. So bushbuck, much shorter horns, but they do twist slightly. The Inyala have slightly longer horns with a bit of a curve and a twist. And then the male Kudu with those beautiful spiral horns. So that is why they are all in the same genus. And interestingly enough, with these antelope, you'll often hear speaking about a Kudu uh, or any antelope bull or cow. Or, if, um, or a ewe or a ram. Now the interesting thing is it all depends on the size of the antelope where that split comes. So the, the antelope where we decide that split is actually the inyala. So anything smaller than an inyala, the females are ewes and the males are rams. And anything larger than an inyala, the females are cows and the males are bulls. However, with the Nyala it's different. The female is a ewe, but the male is a bull. So that's the only difference. But the rest, everything larger, cow and bull, everything smaller, a ewe and a ram. It's quite nice, something different. It's always nice to see these different antelope that you don't often see, and nice to speak about them.